Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you know, FreeSky has recently released a milestone 1.6.0 firmware for radio, receiver and ethos suite which have game-changing feature and they have made ethos suite the center of the ecosystem platform where you can flash, download firmware, backup and so on to your radio. So it is crucial that you have the latest version of ethos suite 1.6.0 before you begin. So follow me in this part one of three series video as I will show you step by step to update your free sky radio to the latest firmware 1.6 and be sure to subscribe and check out other follow up latest video release. Thank you for watching and let's begin. Okay, so here we go. Step number one, we need to update our firmware. So let's go to Google here and search for free sky ethos here and let's go to this free sky RC link. Click that. Okay, I'll bring you here. Here's the ethos and you can read about ethos and it's an operating system if you want here. It has a lot of detail, but I'm going to go to support and select GitHub here. GitHub is a community that used by ethos. Okay, and it has, you can see the code itself in report issue. But here we're going to go to the release here and click the 69 release here that they have. Okay, and we want to download Ethos 1.60 to our radio, but first, before we do that, we need to download the Ethos 1.60 suit, the Ethos suit 1.60 first. So this is what we want right now first. Okay, so let's scroll down here and select Asset here, and we have uh, for Mac and for Windows, and I have a Windows, so I'm going to select this, I'm going to download here. And as you can see, the status download is right here in progress. Okay. All right, it's ongoing. So let's bring up a file explorer. It's uh, here, it's downloading right here to this folder. So when it's fin finished here, you can see it's download already is complete here. Okay, so that's great. Okay, so now we've downloaded it successfully. So let's double click this to install the Eco Suite uh, onto our PC. So I'll bring up this window dialog as uh, a warning, so don't worry about that. Uh, just click more information here and run anyway to let it install to in, onto our PC. Okay, so I'll bring up this uh, license agreement. So just scroll down and uh, click I agree. And it's going to install into the program file folder or press install here. So it's going to download right here and install it. Okay, now that it's done, it's going to bring up this box. So I'm going to run this Ethos suit here and I'm going to uh, select that. Okay, and I'm going to hit finish here and it should bring up the application. Okay, and it's minimize that and it's going to bring up the application Ethos suit here. Okay, and now we have it here. You can read the update news if you want. Uh, so we can click radio information here, a lot of goodies here, so, but we're just going to focus and hit the radio information and get started. Okay, so on to step number three, we want to update and flash the Radio X20 firmware. Okay, so I brought up a Window Explorer here, okay, and let's open another window and show our radio. We need to power those button down there and then the power up button to put it into bootloader mode, okay. And let's connect the USB to our radio here so that we can mount and see the drive on the Window Explorer. Okay, as soon as that happens, you can see the drive are mounted here. And there's a dialog box that uh, open. Okay, so fine. Let's take a look at the Window Explorer here. And you can see that uh, there's a S X20S SD, which is the SD card is mounted under that is bitmap font okay okay so let's minimize this so it warn you us to make sure we update to 1.6.0 for better experience so we know what we are doing here and we not going to go to update we we're going to use ethos sweep to do it so um you know just hit dismiss here okay and we are here on ethos it showed my old radio is 1.5.4 and the RF is 2.2.6. Okay, and you, if you click Ethos here, 
it will show you 1.5.4 and we want to update to 1.6.0 there okay next then um, let's uh, uh, click this and write update component and press this arrow here and it tells us to go to the backup page so we need to back up our radio of, of all your uh, uh, plain files right that you have so you don't lose it in case uh, the update fail so let's do that so I select a, a location folder for it and I'm going to back up all my uh, file plane configuration and I'm going to, before that I'm going to hit right remark here and it's a January 2025 uh, backup five of my plane and hit backup and that should be real quick and as soon as that is done backup is complete so that's fine okay so everything is safe here in case if the update is, uh, is not successful we can recover so let's hit radio information here so we can see it's out to date here and the module version 2.2.6 we want to update to 3.01 later okay okay so let's hit this to write out the component and as you can see when you hit that um, it confirmed backup but we already did that so let's continue okay so missing requiring component yes go to module manager because we want version 3.01 as the TDIS RM here so that's what it's going to do and it's switching to firmware so just select on the radio just select ETO suite so then it can write the firmware to 3.0.1 which is the latest uh, firmware of the TDIS RM so it's flashing the device now and it should be a real quickie okay and now that is done and then now it's uh, switching to bootloader uh, so notice guy you don't need to touch anything on the radio don't press anything so that's the nice thing of it uh, just leave it alone it's just gonna flash and wait till everything is complete then you can do it so that's a nice thing about it so just let it do it work right now it's downloading the English audio pack uh, just leave it there and after this it's gonna copy the English audio pack to the radio and just just let it do its job okay and it should be done real quick here and after copying it it will download the firmware to the radio right now okay and it's copying the firmware over and right now it's unmounting a drive and writing the firmware to the radio as you can see on the radio screen it's writing uh, the status bar uh, updating the, the firmware to the latest 1.6.0 and we're gonna write the firmware and it's on its final leg here it's almost complete uh, notice that I speed the video up here up so it'll be faster but uh, in actual reality it's probably gonna take like you know a little bit longer to write the firmware so keep that in mind okay okay now it's gonna download the system file and it should be complete we're almost there and it's copying the system file to the radio now okay and it's copying the system file to radio and I'm just gonna speed up the video here guys to save us some time uh, but in actual reality it should take a little bit longer when you do it okay but I'm just gonna speed up the video here okay so once it's uh, done copying it should refresh and it should tell us a successful screen okay okay now it's successful and it reminds us that we need to use the receiver have a receiver update to 3.00 to be compatible with the radio 1.6.0 so just to close here and we're done so we can see on here that we update successfully to 1.6.0 for the radio itself okay and we can hit switch to ethos right now okay and it's switching to the firmware okay and on here on the radio itself uh, Let's see. Okay, we can just disconnect the USB right now and verify on the radio if we had a 1.6.0 successfully download. Okay, so let's disconnect the USB here. Uh, as soon as we do, th do that, the ETO suite is disconnect. Okay, uh, and then hit OK here and go to setting and uh, 
uh, check out info and we should see 1.6.0 update successfully okay so that's end this series for updating the radio to 1.6.0 so be sure to check out my part 2 series of this 1.6.0 ethos to update the receiver to 3.0 plus in order to be compatible with our 1.6.0 radio okay see you and happy flying